Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you don't know me already, I'm Janelle. I'm a top producing real estate agent in Minnesota. I've been in the business for 15 years and I've got a ton of knowledge I wanna share with you guys. I remember when I was first starting out in real estate and I was so annoyed because I couldn't find any information on YouTube, blogs or anything and I was really concerned. I wanted to know what I'm sure you guys are here for too, what does a real estate agent really, really make their first year in the business? So with this knowledge, I hope you guys can learn and grow with me as you get familiar with your real estate career. But first things first, I'm sure you know, or maybe you've heard, real estate is 100% commission based. What that means is if you don't have a sale, you don't have any money. So it's commission based. And most average agents a year probably sell like four houses a year. That's an average agent. And I remember vividly sitting in my very first real estate class and it was like a welcome, who are you? What do you, you know, welcome to real estate basically. And I remember the instructor saying, take a good look around you. Take a good look because 87% of you are gonna fail at this career and only 13% of you are still gonna be in this business five years later, five years from now. And I was thinking to myself, oh my God, it would be so embarrassing if I fail, it's gonna be horrible. So basically, the reason why a lot of real estate agents do fail is because, well, you know, um, they don't understand that it's a commission-based career. So let's just take 300,000, which is the average home sale here in Minnesota. So 300,000 and most agents in Minnesota on the buy side get 2.7. And if you're lucky enough to get the listing side, you're looking at 3.3%. So 2.7% on a $300,000 house is $8,100. 3.3% of a $300,000 house is $9,900. So yes, you get, in Minnesota, you get a little bit more for listing the house and you get a little bit less for representing the buyer. But that's average in Minnesota. Your market could be completely different. You might get 3% or it could be as low as 2.5%. So yes, live in the net. And remember, this is a commission-based business. There's no salary, hourly rate, or healthcare. So you really wanna live in that net. Your 9,000 could actually become like around 5,000 because you've got to pay taxes. And if you live in you know, a high tax state like California, they're gonna take about 50% of your taxes. So I personally earned $100,000 my very first year in real estate and I had three little babies. I had three kids under the age of three. Um, and I was, I would say I was always above average. Average is selling four homes a year. So let's just say your average sale is around $9,000 in commission, okay? You wanna times that by 12. Let's just say, cause some months are gonna be busier than others. You know, spring here in Minnesota in the Midwest is extremely busy. December, January, not so busy. But let's take the average. Let's do 9,000 times 12. Well, if you sold 12 homes and your average was 9,000, you're gonna gross over $100,000 a year. Another fun fact that I wanna throw at you guys is that, well, especially in Minnesota, some states it's illegal, but in Minnesota, it's still legal here to represent both sides of a transaction. So if you're lucky enough to do that, and I usually do this about twice a year and represent both sides, it's called hogging the listing or double ending the listing. That means that you're gonna get the whole 6%. And if you're really good at sales, I've seen really, really great sales agents be really good at this. It's a skill, it's not a skill I'm gonna teach you right now, but it's definitely a skill we can talk about in the future. So by now you're probably wondering like, okay, great, like you made 100,000 your first year. If we sell 12 homes a year and our average is 9,000, we'll gross over 100,000. But what is the average agent make? What do they make? I figured it out, and I believe that it's between 35 to 45,000 a year. And by average, I mean this is not someone that's active. They are not putting themselves out there. 
you know, they're relying strictly on referral. Like for example, oh, I've got my cousin Sally Sue over here and I've got, you know, a person I used to work with at the movie theater. They're relying on these old connections and they're not seeking out new business, which is obviously super important. Um, and it's a whole other video on how to get business and how to generate a huge business and always have leads coming in. Um, but the average agent, they're 35 to 45,000 a year, which it's not that great, but they don't really work that hard. They don't put in the work. So I believe it's very, very easy in real estate to make at least $10,000 a month. I truly believe that if you even just grow your business slowly, you should be able to make 10,000 a month pretty easily with putting a system in place, having a repeat business model. What's great about being a new agent is you get so many of these, these buyer prospects. And when you work with buyers and they buy their first little home, like let's say it's you know a little town home and it's 200,000. And some people would be like, well, the commission's not that great. And it's this and that. Guess what? They're 26 years old. And if you treat them right and give them good service and always be at the top of their mind when it comes to buy or sell, that's a repeatable, that's repeatable income you are going to get until they turn 70. So take those buyers that are 25 to 30, get them their first house, no matter how hard it is, treat them like gold because that little sale is gonna turn into gold. Eventually that 26 year old is gonna be a 32 year old with a new promotion and they're gonna be looking for you know, their next house. They're married, they're gonna be, they're gonna be buying a house for 600,000. And then they turn 40 and they're like, uh, we need to upgrade, let's, go do, let's get something a little bigger away from the city, let's go to the burbs. They're looking at a million. So what I'm saying is treat those beginning buyer clients like gold and it's gonna grow throughout your career and you'll always have repeatable business. Okay guys, I hope you like the information I gave you today. I hope you've got a little bit more knowledge moving forward in your new real estate career. And if you want more videos like this, remember to hit the subscribe button, turn your notifications on, and of course, comment below and let me know what other kind of real estate videos you'd like me to come out with. Bye.